Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Public Nations Podcast. Uh, I got BrainVad here. Love these guys, man. They, they've been here a couple times before, and uh, uh, glad to have you guys back, man. Okay, glad glad to be back. Thanks for having us, man. Right Thanks on. for having us. So, yeah, so uh, I'll let you guys introduce yourselves over here. We got um, uh, Angel, Brad, Danny, and Sheridan. So, guys, go ahead and introduce yourselves, man. Yeah, hi, I'm Angel. I play bass in BrainVat. I'm Brad. I play guitar. I'm Danny. I play drums in BrainVat. Uh, Sheridan Carnahan, the wild man on vocals, front man. Yeah, uh, and first, uh, the first thing I want to talk about is, you know, that killer ass hat. Oh. You know what I mean? That, that hat. Is, <laughs> it's magical, bro. It is, it is. It's like, it's like Felix's bag, little bag of tricks. You got the hat. It is, like, man. They put it, it's like fucking Frosted Snowman. Put this motherfucker on, it's party time, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember you tell me the story. The, uh, tell me the story again about the, the hat. Oh, it's just, it's a fucking, uh, I got it from a family friend, man. I just always wanted it. You know, I wore top hats and shit growing up, but uh, I just fucking always wanted this hat. And I got it and just fucking wore it all the fucking time, man. It's like, it's really old. It fucking probably deserves to be in a fucking display case somewhere and not go going to dive bars and fucking partying but you know yeah. like I said it's it magical was pristine like, in the day. yeah I'm, yeah early 1900s I bet it was real nice you know what I mean uh, but still man you, you could rock it though you know what I mean you know what I mean not a lot of people could rock a top hat you know what I mean yeah no it just shit, goes man like I put it on it's got a weight to it man like you put it on it's like oh fuck yeah, yeah that's it's, a fucking it's you know go time hell yeah so uh I was talking to you guys earlier and uh so you know let everybody else uh out there know um got a new music coming out right yeah, so we've been working on uh, our fourth album, and uh, it's been close to a year. We're pretty close to wrapping it up. Um, super stoked on it. They're fucking really rad tunes. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Uh, we just put one out, 2023, Communal Psychosis. You can get on you know, Spotify and iTunes and all that. But, uh, check it out. Check it out. Check it and out. it's fucking super rad, so it kind of set the bar, so it just has to be even fucking like, radder. And, you know, so what, what, what's, this, what's this new album kind of like, you know, what... what, what What's your, what's your feeling about it? You know, what, what's the kind of inspiration for the new album? What are some of the songs, you know, about? Like, what, what, are, you, what are you gearing your, your, your album towards? Uh, you know, so, like, the last one, like, when these guys, Angel and Danny, joined the band, we already had an album. They joined and learned it so we could do the, you know, album release and and run that album and played that. And then, uh, so, the next album, Community Psychosis, they had a lot of stuff on deck and brought that together, and we kind of converged. And this was more... Like us actually writing together in a room and like creating the songs based on us yeah. four in a band now, you know. So like we're kind of growing even more and like we all kind of push each other and just like get out of our comfort zone a little bit and fucking rocking new shit. Like it's just fucking that, uh, fucking coming the last out really bar Was so high we really pushed ourselves to make this one even better. Right, there, Everybody yeah. stepped up even more. That's the fun thing about music, you know, you're challenging yourself, yeah. you know, because you, 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 you reach a level, then you're like, okay, I got to go next level, you know? Yeah, and, and if you're not growing, and, you're yeah. dying, you right. know what I mean? Like, yeah. so fucking, you can't get stale. All the players are killers, so it's inspiring everybody else, like, damn, I can't slack, because <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to be the weak link, you know? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, man. So, uh, so what, you guys uh, played uh, in, in other bands before, or before Brain Bad? I mean, guys... yeah, we... Uh... We've been friends with BrainVat when me and Danny were in Wooden Nomad. We played in a band called Wooden Nomad. Right. And uh, when our band broke up, then these guys, that's when we got connected with them because they needed a rhythm section. And, um, Perfect and we, timing. Yeah, we need, and we needed a lead section. So it was like, okay, well, let's just join up. I mean, I know that we live here in Oxnard, Ventura, um, and then these guys are in Palm Desert, so... You know, we we're knew just, each other well because yeah. I recorded yeah, that, that was a, band. That's so what it was too. We spent a lot of time yeah. together. We're already buddies, so yeah. And we all kind of we all ended up needing each other at the right. same time, really. Yeah. To, to be truthful. yeah. So it wasn't too weird of a situation, and it was Mike just Bryce. like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> jamming with our friends. Yeah, you know that's how you know I see a lot of you know the bands you know they come here, especially in the punk scene. You know, they they've all played together somewhere. You know, but then they've all kind of you know they they find which group kind of connects. You know what I mean? Which gels well. Right. And, you know and. And they, they put out some incredible music. You know, there's, there's a lot of killer music, man, coming out of, you know, the, the Nardcore and just the punk scene in general around here. I mean, we have some phenomenal bands, you know, and here's one of them, you know. So, uh, you guys, so this is going to uh, be played live tonight uh, on uh, uh, Instagram and Facebook. And uh, people will probably see it in, in a week, you know what I mean? And they're going to want to check you out and stuff like that. So right. where, can they, where can they find your music? And, you know, where can they go and, and, and check you guys out? Uh, I mean, obviously, this you know, Instagram, Facebook, and shit like that. We have uh, Spotify, you know. This is what, uh, let's Apple go to Music. Brain Bat on uh, 
Instagram yeah, or what? yeah, just go to Spotify, look up BrainVat, go to Apple Music, go to whatever you want to look at, Pandora, yeah. whatever, any YouTube, YouTube music. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess with BrainVat, it's pretty, pretty. You know, you're not too, too many people have that name. You know, a lot of people have these names, and then they got to put the, or, you know, <laughs> yeah. what I mean? or something like that. To That's get to why them. we picked it when we were trying to come up with names. Everything everybody came up with was taken. So it was like, all right, you just got to come up with something weird. And if I remember right, Sherman walked in with it one day, and I was like. Yeah, brain bat. Yeah, and the brain bat's like, you know, like the brain and the bat theory. Like, it's all fucking, our, our brains, it's all neurological signals, all our five senses, all that bullshit. Essentially, we could just be a brain in a fucking jar, and our brain's just telling itself that we're fucking experiencing all this bullshit. So, like, <laughs> and we're all sort of plugged into the same fucking brain, yeah, you know what right. I mean? So, like, fucking, if we're all experiencing a bunch of bullshit, we're experiencing it together, at least. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, dude. We're all stuck here. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, so, look, you know, people watch this, they're going to check you guys out online, and, you know, so I like to ask, you know, questions and each one of you guys answer individually, you know, so they get to know you a little bit better. You know, what, what inspired you, you know, to get into music, pick up that guitar, you know, want to slam on the drums and or sing, you know, like what 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 kind of brought that out in you? You know what I mean? Was it someone, your, your family, a, a, an artist, you know, we'll start, we'll start. Go ahead, man. Yeah. Uh, my my dad, he played guitar. And so he. He would always take around with the guitar. He was he was not a bad guitar player. He was I mean he wasn't amazing either, but he was pretty good well knowing that like he could play and then I started noticing well my sick my sister, my older sister is six years older than me. So she that she was growing up during the early nineties, Soundgarden, Nirvana, all oh, this yeah. stuff on guitar. Yeah. So she started taking guitar lessons and she's coming <clears> home like, Hey, I can play Come As You Are on guitar and I'm like, Wait, what the fuck? I I wanna be able to do that too. Yeah. And then, so yeah. then that's how it just turned into like Okay, well, I want to learn how to play guitar too, and I started playing guitar at ten, ten years old. Like, oh wow! So I've been playing since then, and now I'm, I'm gonna be thirty nine this year. So uh, that's, that's how I got. That's how I got into it. Like my basically my dad and my sister, and then uh, yeah, the good old nineties grunge stuff is what made oh, it I happen. Love, I love the nineties grunge. So, man. I love yeah. it. I love it. Uh, so what about you? What about you, man? Uh, for me, it was uh, Mikey Doling, lifelong friend of mine, whose musicians toured all over. He brought a guitar around. I never even thought about playing and he already knew some riffs i was like oh, this is rad no. so our other good friend's mom worked at sears and got a guitar that had a speaker in it and uh, <laughs> we just started learning licks and from then on it was on so right on. i was yeah. originally liked to sports and everything until i discovered that i was like ah oh, sports are out yeah yeah guitar yeah that's what because i played football my whole life i never got into instruments or anything and then once football was over i was like I need something physical. I couldn't play an instrument, so I kept on the mosh pit. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did that for years, and you know, broke my hip, and that's over. But <laughs> so, but uh, so it meant you with the drums. You know, I mean, heck, that's one of the most incredible, you know, instruments to play. You know what I mean? Just the whole thing. You're moving all four limbs and just going. And, yeah. You know, I watched drummers. I was in, I'm in awe. You know. So, what made you want to get into that? Uh, well, I think I. I remember when I was little, I got a. Uh, my parents got me a Weird Al album. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then uh, I started listening to more music after that. And then I think we were uh, grocery shopping and there was a guitar for sale. And then I played guitar and I took lessons for guitar and drums. And I just had a blast playing drums. So I stuck with that. And then I met other musicians and started playing more and more. And, and uh, I just always ended up being the drummer and... Yeah. having a good time doing that yeah i'm convinced man drummers have different brain waves you know what i mean because oh, yeah. they're working on different things I, you know, I can barely care for one student that alone is like four like <laughs> counting and all that this is that's yeah I, I, I envy you guys man and to, to that and the piano these guys you see some of these guys play the piano which is amazing and they get to hear a song they're like oh yeah to like man how do you do that you yeah. know it's amazing yeah. but. fuck those guys <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wish i could play piano too and it's just like something just never stuck you know so it's like oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've tried. Fingers. It's too complicated. <laughs> yeah, and then some of these people you see just walk up, they're like, oh, let's just play whatever, you know, they just get it. And it's just... But so, what got you into singing? Uh, well, shit, man. So, I grew up playing drums, you know, I played drums in thrash metal band and shit. And, uh, but I always like wrote lyrics for my bands and stuff too, really imaginative. And, like, uh, a lot of my dad's friends were musicians. I grew up around a lot of music, including Brad. I grew up fucking watching Brad and his bands and shit. And, uh, that was actually the first band I started singing in, you know, Brad and other friends, and they're like, dude, just fucking hop up front and fucking get it, you know? Uh, okay. And I did, and I fucking loved it, you know? And, like, uh, I think uh, just always being around music and wanting to fucking 
just fucking do it anyways because I feel like even if not music but just as an artist you know wanting to create something yeah. here that doesn't already exist you know like the taking a piece of yourself and fucking getting it out yeah. there you know Fuck yeah. helps get through fucking shit and helps other people and I think that's the thing with music anyways it brings fucking people together and you yeah. know like uh, everyone learning other shit from other people and being inspired by so many different things you know what I mean yeah. like not just music but just uh, shit to fucking help yourself and help other people and, fucking, yeah, you know, and yeah. enjoy fucking life right like, like ever since I started you know playing the music here man I mean, it's some of the greatest people you know that I've never ever had a chance to meet you know and you know, it's like, you know, like when we first hooked up, you yeah. know what I mean? We just yeah. started talking, bullshit, and next thing you know, we're like, oh, man, these things are cool as shit, you know? And you just get to know people, and, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's yeah. crazy. It's funny, like, you know, especially in the punk scene, you know, you, you see all these people, people think, oh, punk, this is that, well, you know, I'm talking to these guys, like, man, I got to go, uh, I got surgery in the morning, <laughs> you know, <laughs> away at night, like, I got to go, go do surgery, you know, like, you're doing surgery? Yeah, I'm a doctor. I'm like, yeah, funny, man, it's like, you never know who you're going to be, right. meet, you know what I mean? Because... You know, these guys back in the day were into it. They're still into it. And, yeah, you know, totally, it's, yeah. it's crazy. But you know, so um, you guys got any upcoming shows? Or you uh, get yeah, that we album done? Do, or? Um, so we got this gig tonight, and then we have something in May. I think May. May fourth. May fourth. We're May playing fourth in, with you. We're playing in Indio uh, with a bunch of uh, the local bands in that area. Like they're, like, they're kind of like the younger. They're kind of younger than us. <laughs> well, way younger than us. And uh, but yeah, like they got this. They got this whole scene out there where. They make their own shows happen, and like it's not like we're gonna play at a venue. It's like at someone's place that's making it into like a venue. Yeah, style. called like cool. the lab. I mean, younger kids, yeah. we were all there, like yeah. making it fucking happen and doing and shit. So like these backyard fucking, parties and shit, so or yeah, parks yeah. somewhere. And just I, like and a very well yeah. organized backyard party. Yeah. 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 more organized than we were younger. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is fucking rad. And it's like so, well, that's well, also well, now you can call your friends. You could text them. I mean, back in the day, man, he's like, oh yeah, I'll meet you here at four o'clock. You're there at four. They're not. You're like. Yeah, like, dude, like, you can't call them. You know, you yeah, can't get them, but. and the bar set, and that's where it's at, man. The younger kids are fucking hungry, and they're making it fucking happen, man. You know, so yeah. it's like to, yep. to be in and be a part of that. Like, hell yeah, what's up, dude? Hit us up. Let's fucking rock. Yeah, fuck yeah, man. Well, look, man, you guys, uh, thank you for coming back. Thank Absolutely. you for coming Thanks in. For and, yeah, you know, when you get that man, record done, dude, you. you know, I'd love to have you guys do it. Uh, you know, oh, uh, for sure, we'll be you here, know, man. Bring here, dude, and uh, we'll do it. Uh, what do they call that when you? Uh, album release? Album yeah, release. Maybe we can do an album release. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Album release here, dude. That'd yeah. be this is, is going to be the place, place we, yeah. We want to do it for sure. Oh, man, you guys are like, you're welcome anytime, man. Absolutely. Anytime, Absolutely. So. Thanks, Thanks so much for having us. Yeah. Thank you. So, hey, you guys, uh, check out Brain Vat. You know, go watch them live. Come to their shows. Do buy their albums. These guys are badass. And uh, thank you guys again, man. Absolutely. Right thank you, man. Right on, man. Right on, Cheers, man. motherfuckers. Cheers. Have a good night.